Welcome back, everybody. Heil here with another little surprise. Anyways, before we get down, well, who is here? Say it isn't so. Is that Jayco? Yep. Oh, my God. He <laughs> is alive, folks. Yep. Yeah, he's busy going to college, man, trying to be a physical therapist. I'm proud. How's, how's school going? It's going good. You got any homework? <coughs> what? That's a note in my book. <laughs> Can't be serious. Anyways, no. paying all that money for you to go. <laughs> I don't want to get upset on this video, guys, but listen, we got <laughs> some surprises here before I get started. Anyway, Jake, really quick, I got a Annex 10 coin uh, unboxing reveal if you want to do that. Mm. And this one here, I got the Vault Box 8 whatnot pickups, and then I got some uh, mint releases here that we can unbag and show but what do you want to do I'm after a hard week of school i'm gonna give you the choice for for our multitude or plethora of viewers what do you want to do um I'm gonna go with the vault box eight vault box eight yep this one here mm -hmm. all right we can do that glad you said that i want to say something here anyways uh just a real quick public service announcement. Um, if you guys have noticed, the 2024 um, production of coinage is pretty much on the low side. The biggest one is nickels. Um, so if you guys haven't heard, much watched any videos, I encourage you all to go into YouTube and just go in for the, you know, the 2024 uh, coinage amounts, and you'll see that they're very low. The Designs and stuff are going to change in the next couple of years. So we may not see these anymore with the Jefferson nickel on there. Anyways, I went to my bank and I got a bank box. 100 bucks, as you guys can see right there. I went through them. I don't know how these guys can go and do three, four, five boxes. I know they do a lot of editing, but man, hurt my neck, hurt my back just going through looking at all these dates. But uh, in short, I found, where are they? They're somewhere here. Uh, I think I already uh, put them in two by twos, but I found, um, I think it was five 2024 Denver minted Jefferson nickels in there. And I found some pretty juicy ones too. I'll show them to you real quick. Found this, uh, uh, what is it, 1949 S, and I think it's a semi key date. All right, that's pretty cool. I'll put that in a two by two. And then I found, of course, the Canadian nickel or what do they call them? Yeah, cents. I thought that was pretty cool. And I found some in, um, in the low 40s and stuff like that as well, some in the 30s. But I'm going to definitely get rid of that Canadian one. Put it in my foreign um, coin bag, but I'll, I'll I'll definitely do the two by two. But the the, the uh, on the uh, 1949s. But the uh, cool find of it was I found this in there. Hmm. Yeah, look at that, guys! I already put that in a two by two. 1898, um, five cent nickel. Isn't that cool, Jake? Mm -hmm. I can't believe I couldn't believe when I saw it. I'm like, wow, somebody must have messed up and put that in there. Probably had it in an old um, tin can or something in grandfather's collection, and they just didn't mm -hmm. realize it and rolled them up or sent them to the bank, and I got it. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty neat, man. Hey, I got it for free, and I don't know how much these are worth, but a few bucks maybe. Three, four, five bucks, depending on the condition. I'll look that up. But I thought that was pretty cool. Anyways, I'll put that right there. So, guys, I'm telling you, go out there, get yourself a bank box of nickels, and you just keep them and see what happens. If you don't like it, you can always go back to the bank and turn it in. Anyways, let's get back to this vault box eight. Here you go, Jake. I think those do something for once in your life. What? And let's go ahead and crack I this. I do everything. Now. I don't want this to be a 
marathon video. I know a lot of you guys just fast forward it, man, to be honest with you. Um, what's it called? Um, so, uh, Vault Box 8, I did not get this one on the day of release. Um, my phone died. In fact, I was taking you to school, man. I was there waiting on you. <laughs> and the phone died. So, uh, 9 o'clock, our time came around for the release. Didn't get to do it. Yeah. So, later on that night, what do I do? I go to Whatnot. And you know how they do it. Some of these uh, guys that influence better than I do way better than I do. Um, they have their channels and they have their whatnot accounts and they do their auctions. Good on them. But they sell them for a higher price. And I wanted one just to at least have one. They were pretty pricey. The vault box eight were. Trying to open this and talk guys. Bear with me. Um, they were like 480 bucks, I think, online. There's 465 plus shipping. Would well, have came out to about 485, 490. Um, hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> out in the world, I don't want to flip it up because it's got my info on there in the, on the bottom, guys. So that's why it might take no longer. Anyways, I went in there and I went to this one uh, auction there on whatnot, and they were playing. It looked like Wheel of Fortune. I don't know what they call it. Um, and man, let me warn you all, that is addictive. I don't call it Wheel of Fortune. I call it Wheel of Bankruptcy. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, because they have the wheel and they have all these little slices of pie, and on there is written all the prizes that were given out. And they categorize them from like bottom, medium tier, and you know, the nicer ones. And they're only giving out like uh, six or eight vault box eight coins or packages. So, of course, Ohio gets in there where it just started. And so, I'm there kind of looking and weighing it in. And each of the auctions at the beginning were going for like I don't want to commit suicide on this thing now. Actually, I slice my vein on. Let me point this mic the other way around. All right, there we go. And, uh, you know, there's a little slide bar at the bottom where, where um, you know, you start bidding. No way. Come on now. Huh. Box inside a box. <laughs> right, box right right right. That. Sorry about that, guys. Maybe this one's easier to open. It doesn't have all that tape. Anyways, uh, so I bid, man. You slide the little bid bar at the bottom right. If you guys have ever done it, but you know, hey, do it once. See what you think. But man, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's addictive. So I go into the first one, and they were going for like I don't know, hundred bucks, and I would win one, and then. On that wheel, it tells you what you want. And obviously, I wanted one that said Vault Box 8 on there. You know? But of course, every time I would go for it, it wouldn't land on the Vault Box 8. It would land on the bottom tier. Yep, that's my luck. So, I'll just show you, on average... Let's see if they got anything here. So I think let me see if this is one. Oh, they send me some cool what is that? little zaps and stickers. I don't know from the people that from the channel. I don't it's know if so you guys freaky. recognize that. That does look kind of freaky. <laughs> These are the guys or I think it was a female actually. You know, she didn't know a lot about coins, kind of like me. But I think these are from her channel. It was a female. Anyways, enough of that. We'll just put that there. Put that there. We'll get to this here in a second. Oh, I guess here's the details on it. They pretty much box this up for me. And more packages. So, 
this is what I wanted. So I was trying to get one of these and hopefully it, that, that the wheel would land on the vault box tape, but every time I did it, it didn't do it. Many others it did. Eight other people that did. But every time I'd go bid, I would get what you're about to see here. So let me see. What do you want to start with? Yeah, this is the one I one of them was I got. I got a 1958 Denver. It's a nice slab, you know. Uh, NGC slab. And I forgot what this was. Maybe it was their logo or something, but I won and I, I pretty much I paid a hundred and something dollars for this thing. I'm trying to get that. Then I would wait it out, I'd sit it out, I'd watch, it's exciting, and then I'd bid and bid, and then I'd get another hundred and fifty dollars and bam, I would win this one. Yeah. Another MS sixty six red. Boom. Then I'd do it all over again, and, well, this one was a pretty cool one. This was, I think, the middle tier. So I got a 2024 mm -hmm. uh, bullion coin MS-69. MS-69. Not bad, NGC. Boom. Added, added to the 2024 stock. Uh, I kept playing, 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 hoping to get one. I started doing the numbers. If I do it all the way, um, oh yeah, I had gotten another one. So each one of these is about a hundred and something dollars, folks. I want you to keep that in mind. And then I got this one. Yeah, this was another doozy right here. ICG. Come on now, 1964D. And these are they got like little clips on there. Let's see if you can see it from the back. Clipped rim or clipped edge is what they were. Called. And, and uh, yeah, sorry, Jane. Oh, wow. Man, it's a hundred some dollar coin now. Anyways, <laughs> as, as you can see, it's got a clip on there and it's, it's freaking hard to see. Oh, maybe there it is at the 12 ish clock position. You guys can see that. You see it, Jake? Mm -hmm. So this is a hundred and some dollars. Kept spinning it up and boom. Got this one. And again, there was another clip. But this was a 1944 clip, 100 and some dollars. And I just never got, man, I thought I had another nicer coin in there. Hmm. I'm going to have to check back because I think I got some, uh, I don't know, one of those freaking new design ones. I forget what they were, man, but came in a nicer box. I'll have to take a look. So I struck out, the auctions ended, and as you get closer to the end and there's one or two of these still left, the price from a hundred and some dollars, like what this was, goes up. And I wasn't going to pay that price. So I swapped it out. I went to another channel and I got this one. And I think all they had was these. And uh, I paid $570 ratings for this thing plus <coughs> shipping. Right? Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, huh, Jake? Man, awesome. everybody was wanting these when they first came out. Wanted to get that Chase coin, and I think the Chase coin, I ain't got no pictures on this thing, was obviously, um, oh, it's a 12 coin pattern proof set, uh, 1801 Drake Bus Gold, and I think the guy who got it, uh, Coin Shop, I think it was a coin shop, they made a pretty good video about it, and they sold it to uh, Akusha Collectibles for like, 12, 10, 15 grand. The guy went out and picked it up. So I got lucky. But me, I got this one. So on one channel, I spend like almost what this would be, probably more if you look at it. And I went to swapped over to another bit, uh, little listing, bidding, auction, whatever, where it was just bought box eights. And I hooked it up $570 plus shipping. <laughs> So let's check out what we got, guys. Let's check out what we've got. Let me just kind of put things in order here, right? What do you think it is, Jake? I know what it is. I know what it is. You know? 
It's a um, interesting coin. I think you guys will like it. There's the old conversion charts that you guys have been used to. And how do you want to reveal it, Jake? From the top, bottom side, what do you want to do? Top. Slider down? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go, guys. Let's see what we got. Do we have any one of these? So exciting. Maybe get that 1795 floor in here. Come on, baby. Ready? Mm -hmm. And one. Two, three. Look what I got. An 1886 nickel, man. You got to be kidding me. Yeah. See what I mean with that nickel box? I found, <laughs> I found this one for free. And I get this one for $570, guys. What do you think about that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Again, I didn't mean to be this long, but. I knew what I had already. I had ordered it already. It came in. I've been sitting here for like a month. Then I went to the bank about a, two weeks ago and I got that bank box of nickels. I found this plus those and some other ones, but I figured it was worth showing this one. That 18, 1898. This is an 1886. I forgot the value of it, but it's like 200 bucks maybe, which is. Maybe 150 to 200 bucks. I can't remember what it is, but you guys want it. You can go to Vault Box, type in that um, serial number for the slab, and you'll find out what it is. I'll do it later, and I'll put a little sticker like I do on the other ones. But I just thought that was kind of funny that I paid so much money <laughs> for this thing, and I go to the bank, and I get 100 nickels. I give them a $100 bill. They give me 100 nickels. I still have the money in the nickel box. And I, oh, sorry. And my phone thinks. It's funny. <laughs> and I get this. Yeah. Anyways, guys, story of my life. But we had fun, didn't we, Jake? Yeah. So we do it for guys. Um, like, share, comment, you know, Subscribe. like it up. Don't like, give me a thumbs down or whatever. Subscribe, share. Don't do it. Do it. Mm -hmm. uh, we do it for fun. Got a couple more things, uh, a couple more videos coming out, so be on the lookout. Anything else I'm leaving out, Jake? Mm -hmm. like a no? All right, guys. Well, that's all we got. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had fun. Hi-o and Jake-o. Oh. Out. Well, and... <laughs>